cultural heritage and also maritime heritage, uh, they make up part of our identity. And especially maritime heritage, the Netherlands, is, uh, it, it, it's created uh, through the relation between man and water. So the maritime part component is very large. So it does influence how we are, who we are, and also who, or how we act. And it is of use when we are in, um, working or in relation with other people. For example, if we are having economic uh, ties with um, countries like China or uh, Indonesia, Australia, the maritime component is always there. So we use our mutual, our shared cultural heritage, often shipwrecks in the waters of those countries, Dutch shipwrecks. Uh, we use them also as a, uh, a way of tying up our past. Um, so cultural heritage, maritime cultural heritage, underwater cultural heritage um, is of influence uh, in the polit political and economical process. But we can even, if, if we look further into the global history of the world and also the global um, politics, there's one thing which very much stands out and it's a, it's a very sensitive uh, issue uh, and that's that of the Chinese, uh, the Southern Chinese Sea. And uh, we see that uh, all the countries around that sea if we talk about Taiwan, um, South Korea, and China uh, itself, we see that underwater archaeology is a very important um, uh, f thing to do. Um, there's a lot of research on shipwrecks uh, going on, and um, and I'm, I'm I should also mention Indonesia and and the Philippines that are um, uh, these are all countries that try to protect and to preserve their area, uh, uh, the area which they think belongs to them within that, China, that South Chinese Sea. And the Chinese, for example, use uh, their scientific research, their underwater research to prove the long existence of China and the influence of China in that area. Um, in a way to prove that the South China Sea is Chinese. And um, that's, uh, that's extremely political uh, in, that, uh, in that sense. Um, but we can also think of um, uh, issues like, uh, in, in, in our country, in, in our own country, the issues of slavery. Um, the objects that we can still touch and that are very closely related to uh, our slave trade history, which wasn't minor, it was really big, um, but also the connection, again, the connection with uh, former colonies like uh, Ghana, uh, but also uh, Suriname and uh, the, the, the Dutch uh, Caribbean islands. Uh, we see that the influence of uh, those shipwrecks wrecks are still very big, very, very important. Um, so, cultural heritage has a political component. Um, so, and, and it's the same with underwater and uh, maritime cultural heritage.